Hello, collective. Hello, collective. I hope y'all having a wonderful day today. And you're all having a good day and like your emotions aren't getting away with you because it's the full moon. It's the full moon uh, in Taurus tonight. I want to see what kind of energy pulls out. I'm going to use these little cards and I think I'm going to use my decks that I made personally. Hell, I got like 800 cards. I think we can learn more out of my decks. People's realize, oh, there's a man holding a heart. Here's what's coming out. You're unmasking that this man really has the, he has the, he's, he, he loves you, this man. He's holding your heart in his hand, and this is a caring connection. You all love each other. 45 and 14 came out, so 9 and 5, I love you, and that's me and my husband. That's our life path number's body. Show me, divine, how to love and truly care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. Ooh. So your masculine is accepting his body as it is. He loves himself and his body. 28, victory. You're receiving a victory. Mind, body, and spirit with this masculine. That's what it's saying at the moment. You're going to be victorious in whatever situation it is collective uh with this man truth when everything is done as an offering even the act of speaking you get shown when to talk and when to be silent your words come from silence not fear you do the talking dear lord take me over and speak through me oh that's what this man that's holding your your heart he's gonna speak truth to you baby he knows that this connection that this is a caring connection and you all are meant to be the healer of the ages. Oh, 51, 6. Oh, it might be a Virgo. Oh, and that is my man. <laughs> oh, and you're meant to be a healer and he knows it. He loves you, collective. Oh, wow. This is about a contract of the body. You all actually have a contract together to uh, you and this person. Um... This is about your spiritual connection. You're all yin and yang. I love you, spirit. Yin and yang. Look at our 22. <laughs> 22 special for me. I know what that means. <laughs> 22. I love you. I love you, spirit. <laughs> oh, wow. Look, woman holding a heart. So, look. That's all we need it. That's all we need it, collective. That's what wanted to come out tonight, okay? That's what wanted to come out tonight. Look here. Look here. A caring connection. You're yin and yang. This is me and my partner. People that doesn't believe me, I really don't give a fuck because I know that's why a woman holding a heart come out and man holding a heart. That's why. This is me and my this is me and my person and somebody else in my collective. This man wants to tell you the truth now. They care for you deeply. You've healed, you've helped to heal their body and soul and mind. Are you listening? And and you're you need to accept this miracle. You need to uh accept this miracle. You're gonna receive a miracle. This is about your all spiritual contract. And you all holding on to each other's hearts, and somebody's wanting to let it out tonight in the full moon. See how the yin yang symbol looks like a full moon, and that's why that came out. I love you, God. I love God so much. Do y'all love God so much? What does? You're going to be winning. Don't you worry, baby. You're going to be winning. Winning, winning is the truth. You're going to be winning. Winning, winning, winning. Oh, God, Aries. It landed on man holding a heart. You got to use your willpower, and this is about what you think about and you know about. You got to do it your own way. This is about the body. You know, Aries, the first house. This is also about that. This is about your desires. Uh, but this results from the honesty and strength. You you got to be honest. And you got to meet this challenge. And stop pushing it away. That's what it's saying for some of my collective. You need to listen to it. Caring connection. Caring connection. Caring connection. I love you, spirit. Oh, caring connection, Libra. Partnership. Look. <laughs> 
this caring connection, uh, you're all going to uh, do things balanced. You're, you're cooperating. You're cooperating in your partnership and relationships diplomatically. Body. 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 Mature man. You got to love your body fully. Victory. Victory, victory, lovers. Ooh, you're going to have a victory with your lover, your mature man, your partner that loves you. They let you do it your own way. That's the truth. They they love you big. This is Venus. This is Taurus Libra energy, and it's a Taurus moon, and it's an eclipse tonight. So they love your beauty and the way you do shit. They enjoy everything that you do, collective. Oh, God, Amada, you got good vibes. They've had a lot of good times with you, and they feel pleasure with you. That's the truth. They're attracted to you so much. It's just amazing. Heal by the ages. Heal by the ages. Heal by the ages. You're getting ready to receive a message of concern. It's about this contract. What about this contract? What about this contract spirit? What about this contract spirit? What about the contract spirit? Libra. <laughs> Look, justice. Look, Libra. Libra, you know, scales, scales. The, ba the balance. Look, <laughs> you're getting ready to receive a message um, from this person. You might have to go to court, okay? You might have to go to court, but I don't, I don't think so. I think that... This is just the beauty of your relationship. You you honor your contract, the one that you're in, and, and you do things with your partner. You, you do things with your partner, and you're fair with your partner. Uh, what about woman holding a heart, woman holding a heart, woman holding a heart, woman holding a heart? Oh, son, oh, it come to light now. It come to light that. You demonstrate, and you act like a damn leader. That's why double fours of 4422 come out. Ooh, I love you, spirit. And, you know, uh, you bring things to life or light. You 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 realize that you this is about your creations, and you're gaining respect from people. You're gaining respect from this man that loves you collective or this woman that loves you collective, okay? They love you. They, they, they. Hang on. What about yin and yang? High honors. You're all uh, seen as high honors, yin and yang. That's what it is. High honors. High honors. High honors. This is about uh, methods for the healing power of analyzing perfectionism. Virgo. Virgo sees you as high honor and, uh, you know, you're the yin divine feminine. He's got the yang wang diddly dang. Oh, that's what it means. Did you know that? Oh, God. He knows it, and he loves you. He's going to give you... It's all in the details. The truth is it's all in the details. It's all in the details. I see what it said. Oh, God, the details is you're going to be receiving a great fortune. You, Virgo... Maybe your 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 feminine or masculine is an Aquarius or you know Aquarius. Yours is a Virgo. You're all going to receive a great fortune from your vision. Uh, this is about because you use an unconventional way and you're going to be able to maintain your resources. That's why Taurus energy come out. This is about your beliefs. I love you, Spirit, and that's the path that you chose. Oh, and it's so true for me. It's so true for me over here, Collective. I don't know if it is for you all, but I hope so. I hope something helped you all right here. Now, let's get to my message, the good, good, goody ones. Now, if these doesn't go, Collective, do not get mad. Just take it as it is, and that's what we'll do. Okay, Collective? I done shuffled these while ago. Now, we're going to go through them. And Spirit, what is it? that the collective needs to, to know today. Uh, something that's going to help the whole collective. I thank you very much, God and universe. I love you. Um, somebody keeps thinking negatively out here. Uh, you're pessimistic. You gotta, you keep getting nudges to stop complaining and learn to be grateful for what all you have and stop focusing on what you don't have anymore. So maybe that's what this divine masculine is doing. And 
And maybe it's Divine Masculine uh, figured out that they used to be a narcissist partner. And, you know, they didn't want you to tell anything in your private life because that's when others will see that your relationship ain't perfect. See, that's why they got to stop complaining. They got to stop complaining and see that they're a narcissist. Uh, uh, you you got narcissist tendencies and you got to stop that. Oh, and when the harvest moon comes, you'll start seeing your business profit. So this mature man wants you to... to uh, to take care of your body, and the when it's harvest this moon tonight, I think you somebody in my collective, me or somebody in my collective, is going to start seeing her business profit. And the lovers come out on top of a victory. So you know, lovers, this is somebody that you've actually been intimate with. Archangel Gabriel was the heavenly messenger sent to Daniel to explain the vision of the ram and the he-goat and to co communicate the prediction of the 70 weeks in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. So, I think that you, you've, uh, you're you like a heavenly messenger to this person. You've explained a lot of your visions and they know that you know how to communicate and that you're doing the right thing. And, and they, they're, 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 wait a minute. This person, uh, somebody's person out here is a trisexual. They will try anything once, and they keep doing shit over and over again because they never learn their lessons. So, of course, this narcissist hasn't learned their lessons, and they they know that your relationship ain't perfect, and they know that your business ain't gonna profit until they know their your business ain't gonna profit until they stop fucking being pessimistic and complaining, complaining, complaining. You're never gonna get nothing in life. Because this person lives for all things that is bad. You keep trying to steer them to do good, but change will never come until that person wants it. I love you, Collective. I'm sorry that somebody is doing this to you out here, Collective. I don't know who it is, but now it's somebody. Hang on a minute. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What's the message of concern about that this is a karmic masculine? It's all about learning lessons. You're not meant to stay in these relationships. You're supposed to run. You're supposed to run. So this is about a karmic on the top of this. And somebody below this has a good life. Now this right here, I don't know who it is. This is somebody that will try anything once. They don't give a frick what it is. They do not care. Oh, it's somebody uh, that you might have went to church with or you might have got married to, you know, because... This is like Hierophant energy. This is Taurus energy. This group of people is in a large institution that doesn't agree with a spiritualist. They're, they targeted you. This this karmic masculine sent people to follow you around, collective of women. I love you all, and I hope this helps. <clears throat> because they knew that you was a free bird. You know, we're free birds, and they don't like it. This karmic masculine doesn't like that. You know your own self and that people is magnetically drawn to you and you and you rebel to the status quo. You want people to stand in their truths. And this, this large institution knows this. This might be a karmic masculine Taurus hierophant, okay? And they might be married and TB. They might be married and so this karmic masculine and this anti or anti figure. They've sent people to follow you around, and, and, and they you faced many challenges with these people, and you and you stood up to these people, and, and you said, "Come on, don't fuck with me or harm me, or I'll show you something." That's what you've been telling them, because uh, you know you this is your destiny. Maybe your destiny, your main priority in life is to stand up for yourself and your beliefs about astrology and and you do that and this and it pisses this other person off try to stand try not to stand in the shadows of others stand proud and stand tall in the moment you're meant to shine that's by me pound star oracle see that's that's uh they don't like that you're that you're shining. These people, they're trying to do anything so you won't shine in this new endeavor that you're doing, collective. Like me, they don't like it. And it's a manager of a company that you used to work for or that you work for now. They they was telling the big bosses bullshit on you, bullshit lies. 
And whoever this manager was, they was having an affair with uh, somebody they worked. They was having a, an affair with somebody that they worked with. Are you listening? So this manager, that this company that you work for, they might have owed you some money, but they didn't want you knowing that they was having an affair behind their partner's back, which could be in this Taurus or this Taurus's wife, this auntie, auntie figure. Are you listening? I love you, Spirit. How you tell the truth now? Oh, wow. And uh, you're a person, you, your third eye's open, and uh, you, you, know, you know how to manifest your dreams into reality, and what it is is they did your spells, they wanted, this manager wanted you to fuck them. Are you listening? This manager didn't want it out that they was wanting to have an affair with you. So they put your hairs, your hair in jars to get you to fall in love with them. And you didn't. <laughs> you rebelled. You're funny. That's funny. I love you. You're like me. And these people may be closely neighboring you. You might be, you might live close to this person. That's why that cusp energy came out. <clears throat> Your house houses is real close and they're doing jar spells on you. And that's why this came out. The divine. Oh, God, I love you. You're highly protected, free bird. Look, you're highly protected, free bird. You are. Me and you are. Don't you worry, babes. We're highly protected now. And the universe wants you to know that. The universe is proud that you stood up for yourself against these people. And Archangel Michael is your protector. He watches over you daily. Look at, look there at all this. I love this, God. I love you so much. Look how much. Look what God did for you. Look what God did for you, free bird that has your third eye open. Look what God does for you. See the angels? You're like a damn bird yourself. They can't, they can't bother you, okay? They know that you're highly ranked in the spiritual community. They know it. They know it. They know it's collective hell for They know it. I love you. I love you, angels. And I thank you so much for showing my collective. Look. Keep on healing all humanity, baby. See? That's what you're meant to do. That's what you're meant to do. Is there anything else for my collective that we need to know about these people that did hire jar spells on us, some on some of us? Uh, they was trying to keep you in five of ones energy fighting, and they're they're saying, "Where did you get all these extra hands from, Divine Feminine?" <laughs> they're asking this now. These people seeing that you got a lot of damn. Uh, you're smart, and that you got hands to do all, many, many things in your life, and they're afraid, they're they're just so afraid that their secrets is coming out. That's all it is. So these idiots know that all their secrets is coming out, and it's about to kill them. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. And when spirit gives you a lot of feathers, know that the message is, is you're getting ready to receive abundance. And that's why all these feathers came out down here. Feathers, 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 feathers. I love you, God. Feathers. So you you need to uh, dream big, baby. And remember, toxic people should not be allowed around you or your energy anymore because they like making you in that energy. You understand that, right? I don't know what this will say. What else do we need to know about these toxic ass people, spirit? What else about them? What else about? Was working with your children and they was trying to turn your, someone's kids against them for, for greed. Just, they was greedy. They didn't want you to have nobody to love you. And uh, that's why spirits was waking you up at between 3 and 3, 3, 3 a.m., that's why. That's why they is waking you up because you get genius ideas and and that's when you need to get up and do some work at three or three thirty. If you keep waking up at like that time of the morning, three two three or four 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 or five five five, you have to take control of how you respond to people in harsh situations and talk in a cool, calm, and collected type of way. See, you you're you've learned how to talk to people. 
You know, and the angels uh, are applauding you for that. And uh, this masculine is having trouble sleeping and they have insomnia and they can't seem to focus because they're paranoid over a secret that's held deep inside, tucked away from divine feminine. So it's divine mis masculine. They keep waking up uh, because they know that you tr they treated you harsh. And they know that um, they always tried to get a response out of you. And they know that they turned your kids against you. And they know that that you don't want no more of their damn toxic ass shit around you anymore. And I think that's what they know, okay? And what else, Spirit? Uh, you know that they was just poking their nose in your business. That this, whoever these other people was, these people that you might have worked with or whatever, they was poking your nose in your business and in your relationship. And that's why the angels of love, they work for you and me, baby. And that's why all them angels come out. The angels come out to do that for us. They love you. And these people, they're sinking deeper and deeper in despair. Their lives is falling apart. Ha, ha, ha. So good. It needed to. And you just gained clarity about all these shady ass dealings that was going on behind your back. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Somebody's uh, not so divine masculine might have been uh, working with people that you worked with, paid them to make you feel like shit. And remember, all the things that we go through is to only make you a stronger, wiser soul. Ain't that so true, collective? Somebody gained clarity right now. Somebody that's listening to me knows that they just did. And only you know what person is good for you. Just because others don't like your person doesn't mean that they're right. Did you hear that, Collective? You know who's for you. These people don't know. But how the fuck do they know everything? Be like a postage stamp. Stick to a thing until you get there. That's by Josh Billings. Yeah, ain't that true? Somebody, uh, somebody is nosing, somebody is nosing in your mailbox. Somebody is spying, somebody is spying on to see if, uh, someone's, uh, person is leaving you, like, a letter. Because they know his person loves you, so they're, they're even looking in your fucking mailbox. Are you listening to that? You lazy fucking piece. Especially if these people live around you, Collective. You better listen to me because I'm telling you the truth. Um, they're, they're trying to consciously manifest you into their life again. And that's not going to work. That's not going to work because you're toxic. Toxic can't be around around us. Oh, it says, hey, sexy, shut the door, drop your pants, climb on top of me and satisfy your needs. Love always your toilet butt. This person wants you to climb on top of them. They want you to take conscious steps to come towards them and, and work on your goals and figure out what will be the most helpful in navigating through this process, whether you're starting a business, a job, or, or, to, or a relationship, or cleaning up around the environment. Somebody wants you to take conscious steps to come and drop your pants and climb on top of them. That's why 11 11 come out. Oh, wow, all the angels of love work for you, baby. You flush down the toilet, all that bullshit shit that uh, other people, we don't care. Flush it down the toilet, all everybody else's opinions. Flush it down the fucking toilet. These nosy sons of bitches. They wish that they had somebody good in their life, but they don't. That's what it is, collective. And these people, they went and lied on the Bible to the judicial system on you. They're getting ready to go down. They're getting ready to go down, down, down. They'll be feeling like shit here soon enough. And in and, and this divine masculine or divine feminine, they they ain't they're not ready to give up on you. They were accustomed to living in player energy and didn't understand that you're not in the same energy as they was. They had to heal and stop keeping you in that stuck energy. See, that divine masculine. Because most most women watch me. Or divine feminine, they they were stuck. I think it's a masculine, not a feminine, myself, personally. 
and you taught them to honor and love themselves, and they know that you're very unique, and, 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 and you help many people, and they appreciate you for that. They appreciate you for that. That's what it is. Oh, well, I love you, Spirit. I love you so much. You have a secret admirer watching you. If there was no consequences in life, if you could steal any one thing, what would it be? And why would you want to steal that for yourself? Somebody needs to, uh, I don't want to steal anything. I'm asking you all in a collective. Why? What, if you wanted to steal something, why would you steal it and why? I think a lot of people want to steal my ideas, I've noticed. Awakened man, you live from your heart. You don't fear vulnerability. You communicate clearly, you know. And I know who that is. And you've signed a contract from a long time ago. And you're brought here at this time to remember what and why you've incarnated this life and what you had to fulfill. So this awakened man, uh, they love you. And they're your twin flame. And the angels send them to you. And and you all got a contract to fulfill. And you're all getting ready to come together. And when you be... When you just be yourself and show the real you, that's when the ones that's meant for you will see your true beauty and divinity shining through and they'll come to you. See, they're coming to you, bye bye. They see your uniqueness and your beauty and they, they just wanted to tell you, God Almighty, they feel down fireworks. It just goes off like down fireworks shooting out around, down, shoot, shoot, pew, 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 pew. It's like a damn firework every time they're around you now, baby. They don't know what to do. They don't know what in the hell to do or what in the hell to say to you. Neither one. They just fucking love you. Oh, God. And you're getting ready to see a... You're starting to see your harvest of blessings from seeds sown in your past. Your corn's growing. Your corn's growing, God Almighty. Your corn is growing, baby. Your corn keeps growing. That's all it is. Your corn keeps growing. Your corn keeps growing. Hang on, I think I'm going to do, uh, oh, God, and you know why? Somebody said, why don't you want me? These people uh, that only wanted an opportunity to be with you or sleep with you, they didn't love you, you know. They just wanted to sleep with you. They was trying to steal your light because you're a star. You're, you're seen as a person that shines greater than the rest. They was trying to steal your light and the things that you had made so they would profit. Well, God... Universe, I'm asking you right now tonight, please protect my energy. I've done prayed about this once, but I'm going to tell you again, God. You go get this person that's trying to steal what I've built, and I hope you put them down where they need to be or put them in jail, whichever one it is. But they're going to go down for thieving. Now, God don't like thieves. And if and if you're all about, if you're on tarot, you know that... Uh, you, you know that you have to believe in God. I don't give a damn who you are. You're stupid as hell if you're on here saying, I don't believe in God. No, no, I don't. Well, get off fucking tarot because this is about God. Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of God in it. And if you don't believe that, I, I don't I don't really care. I don't I don't want you on my channel. Are you listening? If you don't believe in God, I do not want you on my channel. Oh, because I'm this. I'll blast you out every time. Look, I made a pregnant high priestess in mine. <laughs> but you're a high priestess. You've got a lot of knowledge, and you've accumulated this knowledge over years of your life, and people want to steal it. But that's, they, you all can get inspired from me. That's okay. Do not steal everything I do. This is about mother matriarchy, patience, sin through the veil. There's some young opportunist around you. It's a young opportunist, young energy, a page, a page, and they're they're feeling uncertain, but they keep impulsively like fireworks taking the initiatives to steal all your good news and put it out as theirs. So you're going down, earth sign, if that's what you are. Because <laughs> I can see through your bullshit. <laughs> Five of Cups, uh, they're, they're disappointed. They're crying. They're crying over their, their love. <laughs> Spilled milk. And then here's five, five again. I'm going to tell you right now, five, five, five is telling you you better fucking change your damn way, whoever you are. You better change your way. You better have the courage to change your way or you're never going to earn the, the, the money that you're wanting. Are you listening? That's Taurus energy right there. Uh, they feel resistant to reflecting on how they showed up. They don't want to. Uh, but uh, they're wanting to take action to collaborate with you, High Priestess. But you know better than Page energy. I know what Page energy is. Page didn't understand that... <laughs> 
I want to be a success and earn anything that I want all on my own. You're getting good news of money is coming to you, High Priestess. You're going to be a success. <coughs> and, uh, because uh, you know how to reflect and how to show up in the world. And uh, maybe maybe somebody is crying. It's Y'all have had a misunderstanding. Uh, this is about intolerance, communication, spirituality. I think somebody's been mad and misunderstanding some of your teachings. And it could be a Taurus. Okay? It could be a Taurus. And... Whoever this is, you had the courage to stand up on your own and bring ten of cups. You have this at your home life. You 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 will have this, okay? So you got to remember to stop being in indecision mode. That's what it's saying. Because temperance angel come out. Temperance angel, you're you're balanced. Uh, you. Um, this is about serenity and cooperation. You know, you're healing. This is about reconciliation. Balancing your masculine and feminine out. Your your the angel balance come to help you in your marriage. In your in this. Well, this could it doesn't have to be a marriage, but for some people it is. The they the angel come the angels come out to balance you. In in this um, with this person that you want to be in a relationship with, if you're all not in a relationship with them, you all have had a misunderstanding, and and uh, that's why all this stagnation. Uh, you know, the the angels is clearing out this stagnant energy tonight. Put it in divine's hand tonight. Put it in divine's hand because you're going to have a victory. This is about a marriage stability, ties, completion. So I think something's getting ready to be completed. It is. It is. Don't worry. You're getting ready to not have to worry anymore now, but boys. Put it in the vine's hands like it just said. <coughs> Let me give you one of these, and then I believe that's all I'm going to do. Spirit, what is it? That somebody needs to know today. It's my Twin Flames cards. I'll receive. Be, stay open-minded. You're getting ready to receive abundance. It, it, you're ready for it. It's your time to receive. That's what that's what the universe wants you to know tonight. That you're 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 you are worthy enough to receive what the divine has gave you. And, and I thank you for that, God. And I pray that I will receive it well. <laughs> oh, somebody is. Your love is blooming and your answers will arrive in the spring. Somebody is bringing love to you in the spring. And you got to stay open-minded and be open to receive this blessing now. That's what the divine wanted you to know. Memories. Uh, someone has nostalgia. Uh, they keep reliving the past. you got to let it go. you got to let go of all these old memories and make new and rise above. You gotta rise above this drama and all them obstacles and pettiness and find the strength to rise. That's what spirit is telling you right now. Creativity, you're because you're an inspiration. This is about your productivity and your creations. You bring out the greatness within. You're getting ready to receive some creativeness here soon in spring. Spring uh soulmate. This is about compatibility, your companionship, your best life partner. So maybe you your best life partner came to you this spring or they're getting ready to come to you. They can't stop thinking of you. That's that's all they think about. They see the potential in you. I love you, Spirit. They see the potential. This is about fulfillment, uh, achievement. Your potential is limitless. Fifth dimension. This is intuitive communication. You're connected as a soul level and you know it. You got to forgive and tranquility, peaceful mind and heart, freedom from the past. You got to forgive things that you did in this with this legal partnership, this commitment, this marital bond, and societal contract. You got to forgive. And you got to let go of the past and forgive in this marriage. Change, you got to change your perception. 
because it's red flags. You got to forgive. It was red flags, delusion, perspective, see through your own false beliefs. You had to see through your own false beliefs about this uh, forgiveness in your marriage. Uh, I think what it's saying is somebody out here needs to forgive your, your partner in order to receive all these blessings. You're protected. Someone is paying attention to you. They love you. Your guides are always with you. Um, somebody loves you. It's your soulmate. They want you to uh, be in a commitment with them. They see the potential with you. You all are already talking in the fifth dimension. You already are. But you can't let go of reliving shit over and over again. And you need to forgive this and stop worrying about it. you got to change your perception. Forgive. Change. See through them red flags. See through that shit. See through the red flag so you can receive your blessings collectively. And that's for somebody out here tonight. I don't know which one it is, but it's for somebody that one of y'all needed to know something. And I love y'all, and I hope this helps somebody today. And if it helped you, would you please hit like? I need your guys' help, and I thank you very much. And I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And I'm going to go, get off here, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. And I hope this helps you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Peace.